so we need the high rig because it's not going to make it go out the live side. Welcome to the Kingdom Impact Experience. On behalf of Prophet Dr. Terrence Kruger and staff, we would like to say thank you for joining us for today's service. We hope you brought the garment of praise, a heart of worship, and the expectation of limitless possibilities. We challenge you to raise your faith and pray that your experience today be one that is refreshing, rejuvenating, empowering, and most definitely life-changing. For the safety of all attendees, it is required that face masks be worn while in attendance and while in the building. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in this matter. Now, get ready as we begin today's service with intercessory prayer. to one another we submit ourselves to the authority of this house we submit ourselves under your mighty hand oh god today we give you praise and we give you thanksgiving we invite you and say come holy spirit have your way move in the way that you will desire to do and lord god we will step back and let you do what you want to do we thank you god and we give praise unto you in jesus name amen Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless him. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your voices in this place. Hallelujah. Let's magnify and glorify the Lord. Hallelujah, our God is so amazing, he is so awesome, hallelujah, there is none like him, hallelujah, in all the earth, we can search all over and find the same answer that there is nobody like our God, come on, don't stop your praises, hallelujah, this is a time to give him honor, a time to glorify him, a time to honor him, hallelujah, for who he is, Hallelujah, he is so wonderful and worthy. Hallelujah, to be praised. He's worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah, he's worthy to be lifted high. Hallelujah, he's worthy to be magnified. Thank you, Lord God. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your wonderful name, 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 God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name. Bless your name. We honor you. We adore you. Thank you, Lord God, for who you are and everything that you have done. Thank you, Jesus. God, we just bless you. We exalt you. We exalt you in this place, Lord God. We want you to have your way in this room today. Lord God, do what you want to do. Move by your spirit in this place, Lord God. Just have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on and give it to him today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When I look back over my life and see what the Lord has done for me, hallelujah, and what he's brought me through and what he's brought me out of, Father, we just bless you. We just adore you. We just honor you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for everything that you have done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being our healer. Thank you for being our deliverer. Thank you for being our all and all, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hey, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your wonderful name. Glory to your wonderful name. Glory to your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord God. We honor you today. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, Jesus, and who you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Bless your wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise your wonderful name. Hallelujah. I just want you to move around this room and I want y'all come on this time to stand up in the presence of the Lord today. Hallelujah. We want to honor God. Hallelujah. Regardless of our circumstances, our situations. Hallelujah. We just want to give him praise. We just want to give him honor. We want to give him the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you. We honor you. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you in this place for who you are and what you are doing and what you have done. Hallelujah. One thing about it is even though, hallelujah, things may not be the, the same way that we're used to on a regular basis, we give God praise, honor, and glory because he's good. Hallelujah. Even when I ain't got no keyboard, when I ain't got no drums, God is still good. Hallelujah. He's still worthy to be lifted up. He's still worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody just shout to the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. He's wonderful. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, lift your voice and shout to him in this place. Come on, don't be afraid of your voice. Lift your voice and shout to the Lord. Come on, come on somebody. Come on somebody. He's good. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord God. We praise you in this place. Hallelujah for what you are doing. Hallelujah. I know I told you to move around, but I want you to tell two people. Tell them it's time to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> to celebrate the Lord for what he's done for us. Oh, oh, oh.
never sell, never share for a kid. What he's done for me, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Somebody 
you to the Lord. I never, never, never shall. Come on, come on, come on, declare it. I never shall. Somebody bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Glory to God. Come on, that sound real pitiful. Come on. Let's bless the Lord in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Tell them I say, say, I never shall forget what the Lord has done for me. I'm asking him for many things, but I shall never forget what he's already done. And for that, he deserves worship. For that, he deserves praise. He deserves the honor. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Bless your wonderful name. Come on, if you could just lift your hands all over this room as we invite the Holy Spirit to come into this place. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare your high living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves. When my heart becomes free and my shame is undone, oh, your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and feel the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone oh your presence Lord yeah yeah I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love when my heart becomes free Shame is undone. Oh, your presence, Lord. Hey, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what I long for to be overcome by your presence. Lord, say holy, holy spirit, you are welcome. Come flood, come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what
presence of God. There's nothing like the presence of God. There's nothing like the presence of God. Tell him there's nothing like the presence of God. Hey, there's nothing like the presence of God. 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 There's nothing like the presence. Yeah. There's nothing like the presence. Whoa. Nothing like the presence. Yeah. There's nothing like the presence. Come on, somebody say. There's nothing like the presence. Hey. There's nothing like the presence. Come on, tell him. Nothing like the presence. Say nothing like, yeah. Nothing like the presence. Hey. You can search all over and find. There's nothing like the presence. Hey. There's nothing like the presence. Hey. There's nothing.
there's nothing like your presence hey when i'm going through hey i know you're right there with me hey when i'm going through hey i know you're right there with me hey when i'm looking like i'm low hey i know you lift me up hey when i'm feeling low hey i know you lift me up guess what y'all he's a healer deliverer he's a redeemer he's a sustainer he's my everything everything he's my everything everything he's my everything everything he's my everything everything and your name is Jehovah and your son Jesus Christ with you all things are possible and the holy spirit hey he will be my god hey there's nothing like your presence nothing like your presence Say, Lord, Lord, your presence, your presence, Lord. Come on, tell the Lord again. Say, Lord, Lord, oh, your presence, Lord. We honor and worship you, oh, oh, Lord. Your presence, Lord, you've been so good to me, yeah, yeah, Lord. Your presence, Lord, even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I know, Lord, your presence is with me. Your presence, Lord. When I'm going through in my body, Lord, I know, Lord. You're a present help in the time of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say, Lord, yeah, your presence, Lord, hey, your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord, hallelujah, come on, just worship the Lord right there, come on and honor him. He's so good. He's so great. He never fails. He never makes a mistake. Hallelujah, yeah, 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 yeah. We honor and adore you, Lord. We honor and adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Ah, yes, Lord God. We honor you. We honor and adore you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I worship you.
worship. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. Hey, I worship you, oh Prince.
Bless your wonderful name, Lord. Bless your wonderful name, Lord. Hallelujah. We honor you and adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Kingdom Impact Experience. We invite you to join us every Sunday right here at the Quality Inn, Gainesville, I-75 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's announcements are as follows. Happy birthday to all who were born in the month of December. It is our prayer that your time of celebration has been or will be full of joy. And may the blessings and favor of the Lord be with you throughout your new year. Experience relevant teachings, real talk, and solutions for everyday life during our dive-in sessions every first and third Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. on Zoom. The Zoom ID is 476-023-6983. Again, the Zoom ID is 476-023-6983. Mark, sorry. Join us for 90 minutes of honor and praise at the Christmas Day celebration featuring our first family dramatization entitled, The Kids Who Stole Christmas. It is the story of a mother and her children who lost everything, including their home, and are forced to live with a friend who is nothing short of kind and generous. As the Christmas holiday approaches, the children incite an uproar and later learn the true meaning of Christmas and the essence of love. On Sunday, December 25th, this will be Sunday, December 25th, 2022, at 11 a.m. This event will also feature special guests, Christian rap recording artist, C-Dub, and the dance ministry of Soul Child. This event will take place right here at Gainesville, at the Quality Inn Gainesville I-75 and will also be aired live at www.terrencedkruger.com slash watch live. So come join us as we begin our day celebrating Jesus Christ, who is the true reason for the season. It's almost time to celebrate. Join us on Saturday, September 31st at 10 p.m. for our New Year's Eve celebration, which will take place at Hotel Elio by University of Florida. To park for this event, please see the valet parking and let them know that you're here for the New Year's event and you should receive a ticket as they park your vehicle for you. This gathering will feature live work, special kingdom performances, and plenty of fun for the whole family as we bring in the New Year with a bang. If you missed it last year, here's your chance again. So gather your family and friends and let's bring in the New Year right. Mark your calendars and don't miss the Power Booth 2023. This conference will take place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, January 6th, 7th, and 8th. More details will be released soon. It's almost time to sow our special beginning of the year seed offering. Join in on this time of giving on Sunday, January 8th, as we sow a seed of $1,000. We're people of faith who trust God in everything we do. We believe that this seed shall go into our future and produce a great harvest that the blessing and favor of the Lord shall make rich and add no sorrow. In preparation for our Prophets 2023 Appreciation Weekend, which will take place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, March 3rd, 4th, and 5th, we're asking everyone to pledge at least $100 to assist with our budget. To give, please see Sister Belinda Williams. The deadline for all pledges will be Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Please also keep in mind that during the celebration, we would like to be a blessing to our man of God in a great way. So be sure to save up so that we can honor and let him know how much we love and appreciate him. Attention all team members. Note that this Tuesday at 7 p.m. is our monthly is our monthly meeting. Again, this Tuesday at 7 p.m. is our monthly prayer meeting is our monthly meeting. If you would like to receive updates regarding the ministry and its upcoming events, please visit our website and subscribe to our emailing list at www.terrencedkruger.com. Again, that's www.terrencedkruger.com. To ensure the safety of everyone, 
If you are sick, COVID positive, or have been exposed to COVID, have any virus-like symptoms at the time of our regularly scheduled services and events, it is required that you are please refrain from attending the in-house locations until you are well and have received a negative result. And please note that it is mandatory that face masks be worn while in attendance and while in the building. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in this matter. This concludes our announcements for today. Be blessed and have a prosperous week. Praise God, everybody. Hallelujah. Y'all sound quiet. Wake up in here. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to try that one more time. Praise God. I know we few in number today, but that does not stop our praise. It don't stop our worship. Hallelujah. God's been too good to us for us to be quiet on them. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I ain't looking for an echo. I'm looking for you to actually praise him. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God is so wonderful. Hallelujah. He's so good. Thank you, Jesus. He's so good. You can go ahead and switch it back now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is so good, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, I just think about how good he is. Sometimes I just can't tell him how good he is. You know, I do the best that I can, but it's just so much that could be said and so much that I can't even remember to say. Hallelujah, because it will, I will go into overload trying to remember every little thing that God has done for me. Hallelujah, he has blessed me more than a million times. Come on, somebody. But God has been so good to the point where as I can't do nothing, my praise will never catch up with his goodness. Hallelujah, but I'll praise him the best that I can. I'll give him everything that's in me. Hallelujah, I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah, at all times, even when I'm going through, even when I'm down, when I'm depressed, whatever I'm faced with, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. I don't care if I ain't got the money to pay my rent, I ain't got the money to pay my bills, I'm going to bless the Lord at all all times. That means in every situation, in every moment that I get the opportunity, Vincent Bohannon says, every chance I get, I'm going to praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I have a determination that I'm going to praise him even when I don't feel like it. Thank you, Jesus. Even when I don't feel like it, even when I don't feel it in my body, I'm still, hey, yes, Lord, I'm still going to bless him. I'm still going to praise him. I'll still give him everything that I can. You know, if the woman with the issue of blood can push beyond her blood issue when she had been bleeding constantly for year after year after year after year, nonstop. If she could be bleeding that long, but she still had the press in her to crawl to get to Jesus, that was some type of determination. Hallelujah. And that's the way our praise have to be. That's the way I posture my praise that God in the good and the bad, I'll praise you. Even when times when I lost my job or my job was being threatened to be lost, I still praised him through it. Before I got my answer. Hallelujah. This, this is the easy setting. This the look, the crash course. Hallelujah. So you don't have to endure um, the hardness by yourself, the hard trials by yourself, and feel like you're alone, and then you go into a crash mode. Hallelujah. But one thing about it is when you get wisdom and knowledge like this, it helps you so that you don't have to make the choice to go through. It doesn't mean you won't go through things or experience things in life, but it, you can have the choice to be able to say, you know what? I, since I got to go through it, it, you know, it ain't going to change right now. I might as well praise them through it. I might as well go ahead and praise my way on through, praise my way on out. Because sometimes you get to a point where you become so distracted with praise to the point where you forget, oh, I got an issue. I forgot that was even going on. God's been so good to me. You know what? I saw past my problems because I was looking through the lenses of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, I'm going to look through the lenses of praise. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because one thing about it is um, the old saints used to say when the praises go up, then the blessings come down. down. But I don't want to just limit it to a blessing. When the praises go up, my breakthrough starts to happen. When, when the praises go up, my miracle manifests. When the praises go up, then my healing starts to come forward. When the praises go up, watch this, my money start to come in. Hey, yes, sir. My money start coming in. Why? Because guess what? Just like if you learn to attract yourself to praising God, then everything you need and everything you desire will start to attract to you. Come on, somebody. Why? Because if I delight myself in the Lord, he will give me the desires what of my heart. Come on, somebody. He already knows what I need. He already knows what I need. He already knows what I need. And his word says he will supply all of my, all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But you got to what? Seek first the kingdom of God thank you Jesus so if I seek him first if I praise him first if I honor him first and not get so distracted because what's happening is sometimes we praising our problems more than we praising him thank you Jesus and what happens is when we come out of our problem then we want to praise him like we done lost our mind when a miracle manifests, then all of a sudden we want to offer. So what it, all, it looks like is you're saying, God, you give me something and then I'll give you something. But the way it's supposed to go is, God, I'll give you something expecting that you'll give me something. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll give you something first, God. And if you be pleased with what I give you, then release to me. Thank you, Jesus. But you know what? We, gotta, we also got to get to that place where, you know, our praise is so genuine and coming from the heart so we got to learn to praise them without looking for anything. That, that's a hard one right there for a lot of people. Why? Because of the simple fact, because I need something and a lot of people have fixated in their mind if I could just press in the presence of God, if I just praise God for these five minutes, then God will give me what I want. But that, that shows you the condition of your heart. It shows you that it's not genuine. It shows you that your heart is not postured in a place that, God, I'm just worshiping you just because. I don't worship you for stuff. I worship you for who you are. And when I got that kind of relationship with you, guess what? I ain't hardly got to ask for a whole lot because why? He going to make sure it get done. You know what? They love on me so much I got to do something for them. It's just like when you're in a relationship with somebody and they love you so much and all of a sudden they come and start surprising you. Lord have mercy. Because who told you that you knew what the date was for your breakthrough? So it's a surprise to you because it just showed up all of a sudden. Who told you that you was going to be healed on a certain day? But what happened? It just showed up all of a sudden. So God began to surprise you because he knows that you have a genuine relationship with him. You're not after his hand, but you're after his heart. And when you're after his heart, guess what? When you capture the heart of God, then God will begin to pour out to you your heart's desires. He'll begin to pour out your heart's desires. He'll begin to pour out everything that you need, everything that you desire. Guess what? He, he, Lord have mercy. He knows you don't want to be by yourself. But watch this, Sister Mary, sometimes we will fixate our attention so much in that one area that we give that area more praise than we give God. We give that area more time than we give God. We give that, that, that particular thing or that particular person more of our attention than, the, than, than we give to the scriptures. And when, when you got it like that, there ain't no real relationship. There ain't no, there ain't no real relationship. You just going around saying, I'm dating so-and-so. But you don't never spend no time with them. You don't, you, don't, you don't never have time to just love on them, but you loving on everybody else. But yet you come and say, oh, I love you because you want to put on a nice show in front of everybody. You ever seen a movie or seen somebody? Well, you ain't got to see the movie. Sometimes y'all seeing it right there in real life, right around you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You see your friends and, and different ones sitting there acting like they just so in love and they just so happy. And you know, uh-uh, you lying. You lying. You, you, you not happy. You're not happy. You're not. But you're putting on a front because you don't want nobody to know that everything is not well. And sometimes that's how we look with God. We put on a front when we come into church. Oh, glory to God. Hey, thank you. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. We go through all that. 
But is it real? What you do during the week? Do you cry like that during the week? So why you cry like that when you get in church? Oh, Lord. So what you're doing is, oh, I got to dress to impress because we're getting ready to go to this, this particular grand occasion. So I got to make sure that I'm suited right. I got to make sure that I make you look good so nobody will know that something's not right. I'm not really happy, but I'm faking it. Going through the motions. Come on, I want you to go with me to this place. Well, why you want me to go there? And I just asked you to go to dinner with me and you wouldn't even go. I need you to come, come on, because if you don't show up, then they're going to think something wrong. And I don't want to look bad. And there's a lot of saints that we don't want to look bad. So we come to church and lift up what we call holy hands and we utter out sounds out of our mouths and offer strange fire and do all kind of crazy stuff and then you jumping all in and shouting all over the church and knocking the seats down like, like, like you got the Holy Ghost and really you got a demon. Come on somebody. And, and, and you ain't got no real relationship but you coming in and tearing everything up like he's your best lover. Oh Jesus. I don't know why I'm over here because I ain't even supposed to be talking about that today. Thank you Lord. Glory to God. I have no notes. Thank you, Jesus. I know what I'm talking about, but I have no notes. I just have a scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And I'm hoping that I can get to it, but I ain't going to rush the Holy Ghost. Hello, because this might be what he want me to talk about. Thank you, Jesus. I know, how, I, I know how not to be crazy. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I try to be crazy, and it don't work. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But one thing about, oh, yes, Lord, I hear your Holy Ghost. One thing that the Holy Ghost just said is if you're going to ever see the miraculous in your life and see the power of God move the way that you really want him to, you got to learn to be obedient even in the small things that he tells you to do. Because sometimes simple obedience is a weighing scale just to show if you're ready to handle more. Sometimes him just simply saying, uh-uh, don't say nothing. It's a simple weighing scale to see, can you handle more? God, I, I, ooh, God, I want, you, ooh, I want you to pour this out on me. Ooh, God, I want you to bless me with an overflow. Watch this. Ooh, I want to be a millionaire. But guess what? He told you not to go to that restaurant and buy that McDonald's. And you say, God, I'm just have to repent because I'm finna get this. I'm finna get this Big Mac or whatever y'all order. I don't like them burgers, but uh, you know, I, I'm finna go. I'm finna go get this Big Mac, this chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. Lord, please forgive me. You repenting before and after, and while you eating. But watch this, and notice, God don't argue with you. He don't argue with you. He'll, let, he'll sit there and let you talk your way out of it and don't say nothing. Because guess what? You ain't convincing him. If he spoke, he spoke. That's it. But watch this. Simple things like that. You ain't ready to be no millionaire because when I told you to put that money up, you wouldn't put it up. You were so worried about filling your flesh that you, that you couldn't even put that aside and didn't know that I was causing an investment to happen and I was going to have an opportunity, but you don't have the money at the right time because you just spent it on McDonald's. Oh, Lord have mercy. Help me, Father. I raise my hand first. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Lord, please just don't mess with my crabs after service today because I want some seafood. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. I really hope he don't speak about that. <laughs> I, 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 want my, I want my seafood today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Lord. See, you pre see, see, one thing about it is just because I preach this word don't mean that it does not qualify for me. I, tell, I, tell, I, I was telling uh, one of the ministers in training just the other day, I say, when I finish preaching, I go and sit and I watch my message. Not to say, ooh, yeah, look what I did right No, no, no. I watch my message for two reasons, to critique myself as well as to be able to hear the word for myself. Prophet, you was the one preacher. I know. But sometimes God releases divine revelation. And though the word can hit me when I'm writing it down and when I'm ministering it, guess what? Sometimes it takes me to go sit down and be still to be able to hear the word. Notice nobody's moving. Nobody's active. You're sitting to hear the word of God. So therefore, sometimes us as preachers got to go and sit 
and listen to the word of the Lord. Why? Because it needs to do a work on us. I can't preach a message that I don't want to work on myself. Glory to God. Because if God tell me about them crabs, I can't have them. I can't promise that I won't have a fit. But, thank you Jesus, with extra butter and extra seasoning. Glory. Hey, I felt that thing. Glory to God. Extra butter and extra seasoning. Come on, somebody. I might be inspiring Sister Brooklyn for her meal. Glory to God. She another crab lover too. <laughs> Glory. So, so with that being said, we got we got to make sure just in simple obedience. This might be what I preach today. Thank you, Jesus. We'll do the other one next week. So, simple obedience can cause you to be able to receive what you've been expecting. But watch this, disobedience can put your blessing or what you've been expecting on hold. It can also cancel it out. Why? Because God told you to be in a specific place at a certain time and because you were not in place at that time because you were procrastinating, oh Lord, procrastinating. Because, because you were supposed to be here and all of a sudden God sent that millionaire in in disguise and all of a sudden they, 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 they was, they were, God told them to come and they didn't even know what they was hearing. All of a sudden they just felt like I just needed to come over here to this particular place and all of a sudden, you know, there was, a, uh, I, just, I, just, I just know, but for some reason I don't know why I'm here. And now you caused them to be confused because you out of place. Because now I make you feel like, well, Maybe I didn't hear right. You know, so let, me, let me just go on and leave. And let me tell you something. Sometimes when God has certain things set in place for a certain time in a certain place, guess what? You cannot always chase down the opportunity once it's gone. Because once the door is closed, it's closed. And we're so used to God giving us grace. Oh, thank you for your grace. Oh, God giving grace. Oh, he's a gracious God. He's a kind God. Oh, his mercy is new every morning. He going to give me mercy for this. Lord, I know I was late, but still do it. No, no, no. Because God will never teach you how to get better and how to come out of that if, you never, if he never does something to challenge you to change. See, watch this. God ain't soft like us. See, little Bobby, little Bobby will do something, and, and you be ready to tear his behind up, and all of a sudden, he started looking all sad and stuff, and, and that little cute face, and then all of a sudden, you just give, well, all the, ooh, just go sit down somewhere. And watch this, little Bobby knows now I could just keep doing certain things, and I get away with it because you can't handle certain things. So you know what happens is God, sometimes what God does is God will allow something to happen or an opportunity to be stripped from you because you weren't doing what you were supposed to be doing. You weren't walking in obedience. You were procrastinating. And watch this. And all of a sudden, you miss the opportunity and you crying out to God, oh, God, restore it. Sometimes he will be gracious like that, but not all the time. Do you know what? Now you walk around here mad at God for something you did. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Y'all felt that quiet wave go over there through the airway? My God. Thank you, Jesus. That means we all guilty. Thank you, Jesus. So, so you got to understand that if God, if God, we're supposed to be talking about defeating the spirit of anger. <laughs> we'll do it that next week. But here it is. If I don't walk in, somebody say continuous obedience, you're going to constantly and continuously see gaps in your breakthrough and what you're expecting. So what that means is all of a sudden I got a blessing right here, but then it skipped a couple spaces. Then I got a blessing like three more times down the line. This is like, well, God, why I don't get blessed like that? And why this ain't happening for me? Well, what are you doing? Huh? What you do? What what that obedience do? <laughs> hey, glory to God. Glory to God. I gotta I gotta ask myself, what am I what am I doing 
to miss out on the things that I know. Because we can sit there all day and say, what God has for me it is for me. And, and, and can't the, devil, the devil can't do nothing about it. Okay, but you can. Because mm -hmm. everything ain't the devil. Some things are just you. You stopping and blocking. Stopping and blocking your own blessing. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. You worry about somebody else getting in the way. No, no, no. You need to worry about your own self. Because a lot of times you blocking your own opportunity. See, if you wouldn't have said nothing, then the opportunity wouldn't have been. No, 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 no. No. They just did what they were supposed to do to get it. You didn't do what you're supposed to do to get it. You got people that'll sit around and say, well, I want a job. And then all of a sudden, when it come down to it, then, then they well, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, I don't even feel like it today. I'm, I'm going to just do it um, on Wednesday. Wednesday come. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't feel that position. But, Lord, I prayed for it. And watch it. You're behind sitting at home watching the TV, eating popcorn, and watching soap operas. Okay. A lifetime. And, 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 and while you sitting there just enjoying your, your Christmas movie. <laughs> ah, you sitting there watching your Christmas movies and your little dramas that make you cry. Because y'all want to be emotional. We ain't talking about nobody in this room, praise God. We talking about the people that's not here and the people that's not watching. You know, because the word not for us. It's for everybody else. Right. So, you know, and, and there's something right there too. You know, people, you preaching on me and this and this. Uh, who the word supposed to be for? Ain't this supposed to be for the people that's in the room? So you want, you want a message to be preached for people that's not even present. So you can go and point your finger at them and say, see, the preacher just preached Sunday and talked about people like you. And this is why you need to get saved. This is why you need to get delivered. And guess what? They never will because of you. Because of the simple fact that, first of all, you ain't coming in love in the first place. You ain't coming in grace in the first place like God showed to you. That was just a little commercial break. Now getting back on track. Thank you, Lord. Because they only... They only give me 30 seconds. Thank you, Jesus. So, here it is. My obedience, my obedience is not intact. Okay, I see where you're going, God. So, God say, I'm dealing with obedience today. I'm dealing with obedience. He say, if your obedience is not intact, you will start to miss things that you've been praying for for months because of the simple fact you have literally clogged your own spiritual arteries. Oh, have mercy. So now stuff ain't functioning like it should. Stuff ain't happening like it should. Well, I know this should have been happening by now. I wonder why. Why, why, why it ain't happening? Cause it be some, and you know we quick to blame everybody else. And uh, oh, see if Laquisha didn't do what she did, then I wouldn't be in this predicament. If if if, if, if little Bob, if he ain't come over there and try to fight me, then it, come on, we got to take ownership. Because guess what, little Bobby could have did and said all he wanted to say, but guess what, you had a choice. Thank you, Jesus. You had a choice, but I chose to engage. And as a result, I cause things to be hindered. I cause consequences to come upon my life. Because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, I was living in a mode of disobedience. A mode of disobedience. I, I, we got to get to that place where we, turn, we, where we destroy that switch of obedience. Because a lot of us, we got... We got disobedience in us like a light switch. We just go turn it on and turn it off whenever we feel like it. When I feel like being in the light, I turn it on. When I feel like being in the dark, I turn it. I turn turn the lights off. But let me tell you something. If you gonna be back and forth like that, because the Bible says what you gonna be either what hot or cold, hot or cold. So that means you got to make up your mind. Choose you this day who you gonna serve. Prophet, I thought you were talking about the, uh, obedience. I am. I'm still talking about obedience. Because guess what? That, that pertains to every aspect of our life. 
Well, prophet, I can't make no promises that I'm always get it perfect. Absolutely. I don't always get it perfect. Sometimes I'll still be disobedient. I, don't, I don't, well, can't say I don't try to. But sometimes I do. <laughs> Let's tell the truth. Because we ain't going to let no devil come in because we lying. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't taking up no lying spirit. Because the Bible say a liar will not tarry in God's sight. Uh-oh. So a liar won't even make it in if they don't get it right. So therefore, watch this. Well, prophet, I'm not a liar. Yes, you are. What you mean I'm a liar? I'm offended. Uh-oh, there it is. We ain't going to talk about the spirit of offense today. What you mean? What you mean I'm lying? Every time you deceive yourself to act like you're in the right when you know you're in the wrong, you're lying to your own self. You're living out a lie to act like everything is well and act like you was in the right when you know you shouldn't have did it. You know you shouldn't have, you know you shouldn't have went in your boss office and took that cookie off her desk. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You, you know you shouldn't have went in their in they room and took that pen and said, they'll be all right. They ain't going to miss one pen. You stealing. You living a lie and then saying, I'm a child of God. Oh, Lord. See, now, now I see how the Lord bringing it back. Simple obedience. We looking at major stuff. Well, it ain't like I'm going around sleeping, sleeping out of wedlock and all kind of stuff and doing all kind of crazy stuff. But guess what? If you ain't careful, it's them little small foxes that will get to you. And they'll tear you up and land you in a, a situation and places that you never thought you would be in. Well, how did I get here? It was them little small things that you thought wasn't big enough to be that serious. That surely this won't get me in trouble with God. Surely this won't mess nothing up. Surely I won't miss no opportunities for something small like this. It was just real little. Because all of a sudden, your boss come back in that room and say, somebody stole my pen. And they don't realize that was the pen that my grandma gave me before she died. And all of a sudden, you get fired over a pen. Just because it's small does not mean that it doesn't have the ability to produce something great. So, Small disobedience can literally cause major things to happen. Let me show you something how powerful that is. If I look at a clock and I was to go inside of one of them um, big old grand clocks and stuff where it got all the gears and stuff, if one lug nut or one thing gets thrown off, it will mess up the whole flow. Something so small will mess up something so big. It'll throw off time. Oh, Lord, there we go. Y'all caught that? It'll throw off time. So what you were supposed to get now, now you done delayed it. Oh, Lord. Glory to God. You have delayed it because of the simple fact that I had a small little bit of disobedience and I didn't think it was going to hurt nothing. But in actuality, it destroyed some stuff. Lord Jesus. You know, you know, it's just like, Sister Brooklyn, if, 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 if you tell a person, just don't lie to me. And, and, and then all of a sudden, they tell a little, what they call a little white lie. I didn't even know lies had colors. <laughs> but but, but it, it's, just, it's just a little, a little white lie. You know, I ain't, I ain't tapped over to the dark side. I'm, just, I'm still over here in the light, the light color. Every now and then I tap the gray, but you know I'm I'm still over here in the in the in just the little white lie. And that one little white lie could literally cause Sister Brooklyn to say, "I don't want anything to do with you because if you'll lie to me about something this simple, then I wonder how much more major you will lie to me about." Oh no, I never do that. Well, I, how can I believe that? Because you just lied to me clearly. Oh, I, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. <laughs> Glory to God. So, so we got to make sure that we are walking in obedience. 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 I'm trying to figure out how we got from praise to obedience. <laughs> see, see, when you go with God, he'll, he'll, he'll tell you what to do. Because one thing about it, Sister Shay, 
um, I was talking to Sister Shea um, when we came in today, and I said, Sister Shea, I said, I ain't even had time to do my word. I was up late last night working on ministry stuff, trying to get stuff together, different events and, and that we got coming up, and I didn't go to bed till like 6-something this morning and had to be up and ready to try to get here and got here at like 10, 20-something or 20, 30. So, you know, in all of that, I ain't had time to work on my message. Now, I, I you know, that, that wasn't going to be no problem. I, I, I know how to flow. Thank you, Jesus. I know how to flow. But guess what? I was talking to her, and she said, well, sometimes there'll be some of the best services when you don't know what you're supposed to be saying because of the simple fact that God will come in, and he'll do, he'll do what he need to do. And look what God's doing. He's speaking to what needs to be said. Because if you don't take this word, I'm sure taking it. Because, oh, come on, somebody. That's what I'm talking about. We could be honest about that. We could be honest about that thing. Come on. God know what we need to hear. Because I guarantee you, this, this, um, because it's because a lot of times people will look at me and they'll see me in my stature and how I carry myself in ministry. But the thing about it is, when I'm to myself, you don't know the conversations I have with God. Because I ain't, I ain't this rowdy when I'm talking to God. I'm just, I'm just calm talking to Him. I could be all the way live when I'm having fun with y'all. And, and I'll just be sitting there. Unless I'm having a good time with the Lord. You know, that's different. But, you know, other than that, you know, just don't do it in public. Because people think you're crazy talking to yourself. Thank you, Jesus. You got to do it when nobody looking. Hey, God, you, you, you saw that? <laughs> Glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But I, I, I talk to God and I tell God, you know, I just had a real conversation with the Lord coming here today about my own self, about my own issues, about what I need worked out. Because of the simple fact, but one thing I realize is I, I'm not expecting God to do all that stuff for me. Some stuff he's going to have to do, but some, a lot of that stuff, I'm going to have to do it. But I was being honest with him, and I was talking to him and saying, God, this is what I need to come out of. This is what I need help with. This is where I'm, I'm weak right here. And God, I need strength right here. Help me. But guess what? I ain't saying help me and then I go do what I want to do and then wait for him to show up and do every, everything for me. No, I'm going to do the work. But I had, to, I, had to, I had to verbalize it and talk to the Lord about it so I can admit, hey, I know I got an issue. Hey, my attitude jacked up. Hey, sometimes I get angry. Hey, come on, you got to be real with God. I ain't know how, because guess what? You can, Sister Mary, you can do all you want to do to try to hide stuff from God. And guess what? The truth of the matter is, he's sitting right there looking at you like you just deceiving yourself like I don't know everything. <laughs> the, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. But watch this. Not only that, but you know, people, uh, people t tend to say, and y'all know I, I have a certain viewpoint when it comes to this. A lot of people say, well, God already knew what I was going to do before I did it. To a certain extent, I believe that, and to a certain extent, I don't. Why? Because of the simple fact, why does God, why does God know what you're going to do before you did it? Because he saw the condition of your heart and saw you had already made a determination that before you did the action, it was already there. But he gives you the free will to make decisions, and he's going to wait to see what you're going to do. So he has hopes for you. This is why, so those, those that be saying, well, well, if God knew I was going to mess up, why he ain't just fix it so I wouldn't? Because he didn't, he didn't anticipate you to do that. He had hope that you were going to do the right thing, but he gave you the room and the free will to make a choice. And once it entered your heart that you were going to do it, he knew it. So before any action was done, before any plan was carried out, he already knew you was going to do it before you did it. Before you went and told your friend, before you picked up that phone, he already knew what was going to happen. He already knew the whole deal because he saw your heart. You can't, you can't hide from him. So that's why he know what you was going to do before you did it. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel good, y'all. Thank God for this good word. Thank you, Jesus. I thank him for the, for the spontaneity. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> but, but God is good. But 
again, let's, let's walk in obedience because I, I ain't got time to miss nothing else. I done lost a lot. And I ain't got time to lose nothing else. Because cause, cause God, God been too good to me and has proven himself many times before that when I walk in obedience. And watch this. Let me show you something. Oh, I hear you, God. When you're walking in obedience, make sure you don't let something throw you off of it because you don't see nothing happen. Your obedience should never change because of the fact I don't see results yet. I don't care if you've been doing it for five years. Keep doing it. If he told you to do it, do it. Prophet, that just don't make no sense. Why I got to wait so long? Why you got to keep asking questions? Is he not God? Did you not say, a giving honor to God who is the head of my life? So if he's the head of your life, then that means that whenever he, I was just telling somebody this week that um, what, what, what happens is with leaders, oftentimes this is why we have to be careful about getting too close to the people because of the simple fact that people have to make sure that they res keep a certain respect for you in, a, in your position. Because you don't want people to get too comfortable. Then all of a sudden you start talking to me on my level when you should be down here. Glory. And now you feel like you can check me. Well, you're not even on the same rank. If you're under me, that's the equivalent of you checking your parents. Telling your parents about themselves and what they need to do and what they sh should do and they need to hush. It's, it's the equivalent. It's a, I, I was telling somebody this week, I said, you know what's so amazing? I say, um, God, I say a lot of times people come and, and, and sometimes I have to learn balance with how much I'm honest and how much I, I, I teach and how much I answer questions because I don't always owe an explanation for everything. If I say it need to be done, that's the way it need to be done. Don't ask why. Well, prophet, I don't think that's right because I need to know what I'm doing. But let me show you something. When you ask God why I got to do this, how many times he really respond? Right. Because he's not obligated to answer you. When he tell you, if you say he's the head of my life, he's my father, then that means that if your mama tell you or your father tell you go wash them dishes, you better go wash them dishes. Or what? There's consequences. So therefore, just as, as, as with God, sometimes God, and guess what? God ain't moved because you get emotional. And because, oh, God, I can't believe you won't talk to me. I can't believe you won't give me what I want. And God will sit right there and still be quiet. Because he's not like us. We move by emotions. God's a spirit. He don't get emotional like us. Yes, he has emotion. But he doesn't get emotional like you and me. Somebody say something and his feelings all hurt. And he all jacked up in the corner and say, I don't want to be God today. You don't do that. We do that. But what happens is God is so kind that he provided a whole manuscript because he knew what you were going to be dealing with and the type of stuff you was going to face in this earth. And so because of this, because the devil has come in and has deceived the world, he knew what the devil was capable of. And because of this, he already put in place everything that you needed for life and godliness. So therefore, he gave you everything to live a successful life. So all we got to do is just obey it. Walk in it. And when we walk in it, we'll be successful. We'll see the manifestation. We'll see the goodness of the Lord coming for us. Because I don't care how much you get in a prophetic service and, 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 and oh, I want you to decree over your life that it's turning around for me. You can sit there and say it's turning around for me all you want to, but if you don't know how to keep your mouth closed, it might not turn. If you all know how to be obedient and, 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 and be obedient in time and on time, guess what? It might not happen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we're going to walk in a greater level of what? Obedience. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you so much for how you have spoken to us today. Thank you, Lord God, for the spontaneous word that has come forth. Because God, you know I was ready to deal with this anger. But God, we'll push it off the next week.
because this word is more important. Because, God, we don't know what you're preparing us for. We don't know what's coming up. We don't know what's going to happen in the coming week that we need this word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I heard the Lord say, also to, uh, to announce this, he said, there's somebody this week you're going to have to hold your tongue in a situation. He said, remember this word, hold your tongue. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold your tongue. That means be quiet. Thank you, Lord. Hey, by side, Thank you, Jesus. Hold your tongue. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody just begin to worship the Lord right there. Thank you, Lord. You are so wonderful. You are so good. You're so kind. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you so much for how you have spoken to us today. Thank you for freeing us in our understanding. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us clarity. And, Lord God, giving us the answers that we need to become what you want us to become, to access what you want us to access, to have the opportunities that you want us to have. We're determined that we're not going to miss out on any opportunities that you have set for our lives because we make the choice to walk in a greater level of obedience. Let's stand to our feet. God, we honor you today. We praise you today. We thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being our guide. Thank you, Lord. We just love you. We adore you. We thank you. We can't tell you thank you enough. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And God, today, if you're one of those people today that say, you know what? I'm going to go on this journey of, uh, of walking in a greater level of obedience. I want you to just raise your hand right where you are. Thank you, Jesus. I'm determined. And I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord, I repent for my disobedience. Forgive me and wash me over again. This day, I t declare that I shall transform my mind in accordance with with the word that you've declared to us that I can walk upright righteously the right way according to how you are speaking I thank you Lord for caring enough that you will give me the instruction give me the direction on how to better myself so that I will miss nothing I will lack nothing I will miss nothing I will lack nothing. I will miss nothing. I will lack nothing in my life because my obedience shall give me access. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord praise. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is wonderful. If you're here today and you have a prayer request, I want you to come and stand in this middle aisle so that I can touch and agree with you. Thank you, Jesus. Yahweh, Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Father, I thank you right now. I touch and agree and declare that, God, you are doing a work in this body, in her lungs. I command the lungs line up now be healed in Jesus name I speak against any infection anything that is causing a hindrance or causing the lungs not to function the way they need to I command you go out out now in Jesus name leave the body leave the body now leave the body now leave the body now in the mighty name of Jesus leave the body now leave the body Leave the body now in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, touch. Touch now. Hey, basa rakata basha. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yes, sir. Heal God. He, 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 he. 
Heal God. Ha 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 ha. Heal God. Yes, Lord. Ha. Yes, Lord. Heal God. Heal Lord. Heal. Yes, Lord. Heal God. Heal God. Heal God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. That's all right. Move your hand. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Infirmity, leave the body now. Out. All the way out. All the way out. Out. Come out. 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 Now, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out of the lungs. Come out of the lungs. Come out of the kidneys. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, infection go. Now, every attack of the enemy, loose. Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 Fire, go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Purify. Purify. Now. Purify. Now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out. Poisons come out of the body. Out, out, out. Deliver, 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 deliver. Now, in the out, 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 out. You will not choke her. Come out of here. Come out of here. Come out of here, you wicked spirit. Go out. Go out of this body. She will be free in her mind. Free in her mind. Come out, 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 now, now, out, 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 all sickness, all infirmity, out, 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 now, 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 out, 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 now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the Lord, touch, heal, 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 now, now, be healed, be healed, be healed, right now, be healed, be healed, I command you, now, in the name of Jesus, out. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command peace in this body. I command her to be whole. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, loose her, loose her, loose her all the way. Every spirit of struggle, come out, come out, come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Set free in 
the name of the Lord. Be healed and be set free. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be set free. In the name of the Lord, we want you to move, God. We want you to move, God. You are my Redeemer, Lord. You are my Sustainer, Lord. You are my everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Hey, Basu Rabba Dikiana Manda. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is good. God is good. I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for how you heal, God. Thank you for how you deliver. Thank you for setting us free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's how I hold you up. I'll hold you up. Even when you feel like you can't stand, I'll hold you up. I'll fight your battles. I'll fight your battles. I'll fight your battles so you can win. Yes, Lord. So you can win. So you can win. I'm the God that never makes mistakes. I'm the God that never makes mistakes. I know what I'm doing, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, Lord, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Do you know who I am? 
I am the God of provision. I am the God of light. I will make a way in darkness. I will make your way clear where you don't know what direction to take. I will make the way clear. I will make the way clear, says the Lord. I will make the way clear, says the Lord. I will make the way clear, says the Lord. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. He papa so kotoba ele bakande de also to ma a a a halamande de de ya shakata bahai. I desire to take you into realms and levels that you have never encountered, you have never experienced before. I desire to take you into the depths and begin to give you experiences that your life will never be the same. But you have to get into my presence i am calling you uh, for a deeper relationship uh, i am calling you uh, to the deeper places uh, i am calling you uh, off of the surface uh, i am calling you uh, to a higher standard i'm calling you the rivers of refreshing I shall come over your soul the rivers of refreshing shall come and revive your spirit the rivers of refreshing shall cause you to be whole I shall restore you. I shall restore you. Hey, ba 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 ba. I shall restore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you shall be happy. So I deliver unto you that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, 
which is broken for you. Hey, yes, Lord. This do in remembrance of me. Hey. This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. This do in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do shew the Lord's death till he come. Uh, I shall testify of what you've done through the way that I live, through the way that I live. My life shall be a testimony of the goodness of the Lord. It shall be a testimony. Hey, of the goodness of the Lord, yeah. It shall be a testimony. Hey. Up by his stripes, I was made whole and healed. Hey, it shall be a testimony. Yeah. Of how he can change your life and make you better. Yeah. It shall be, it shall be, it shall be. Hey, thank you, Jesus. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Hmm. My life shall testify of the goodness of the Lord. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of he said, this day you shall be healed. This day you are healed. This day you are healed, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Huh? For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Yes, Lord. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many are sick. Father, we thank you that as we take part in your presence today. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is different, y'all. I see the angels of the Lord doing communion. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's manifestation in the room. All you got to do is receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, as we take part today in your blood, in your body, in remembrance of the sacrifice that you made, Father, I declare over these pieces of bread and this juice that, Lord, it will be not just natural elements, but blow supernaturally upon them. That miracles, signs, and wonders will come forth through them. In the name of Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The angels are touching. Ha, heba, basa. The angels are touching. They're here on assignment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I speak to the spine. I command the spine. Line up. Now, in Jesus' name, be healed. Be healed. 
and she heba soka. She can't even answer. Danda da 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 basi. Zeke re 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 ya shanda da da. Zeke debe kupa baba saka taba. Zake re re ya la mondo le le bokanda di asa. Shanda re re le bo kupa baba basi ya da 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 da. Heba shanda. E le bo kunde abasuka ba. E ba 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 sha. E kabata. Ile bele le yondo le ya bosuti ya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is going into somebody's intestines. Anda di shuto kota bahaya. He's causing there to be a purification. Anda bakada. God is dealing with blockage. Yeah. He's healing today. Thank you, Jesus. He's healing today. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you're coming, come to receive the body and the blood of the Lord. And as you consume it today, remember the sacrifice and thank Him for your healing. Thank Him for your wholeness. Thank Him. Glory to God. Thank you.